Hi, Colin. It's Thursday. Colin, you may be wondering why I'm lying on the ground and why I'm not looking directly at the camera. And there are a couple reasons for that. First one being that I didn't get my video out yesterday. I know there's no real schedule anymore, but I still feel like I should be trying to get content out on Wednesday. I mean, that's my official day still. I should at least try. And I'm also lying here because I'm tired from doing college applications and trying to think about the future. Colin, I know I talk about the future a lot in this vlog, but it's something that I have to talk about because it's incredibly important to my life and you know my future existence. See, there I go again. I'm always talking about the future. I can't stay focused on the present. And Colin, I'm not exactly sure why that is. I mean, it could just be because that's a big part of my age group and what we're supposed to focus on and what we're told is important. But it could also just be something that I am personally stuck on at the moment. As a prospective college student, I'm thinking constantly about the future and what that means for me. What I'm going to major in, what I'm going to do, but more importantly, why I'm going to do it. Who I'm going to do it for. Is it just for me? Is it for society? Is it for my family? I think it's a fair combination of all of these things. I think that I'm going to do it for all of them. But mostly for my friends and family. Because I just need to know that they were proud of me. I'm sorry that I'm quoting Dan Campbell of The Wonder Years again, but I just can't do anything else. So Colin, all of that anxious rambling brings me to tomorrow, Halloween, October 31st. Which for many kids is a chance to be scared and walk around the neighborhood and get some free candy and let their imaginations run wild. But for many high school students, specifically seniors, marks a completely different kind of terror and dread. That's right, Colin. Because the next day, Saturday, November 1st, is the day that many college applications are due, and early decisions must be put in. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I think that early decision is completely stupid. I don't understand why people need to do it, I don't understand why colleges focus on it, I don't think that it really helps, I don't think that it's beneficial to anyone, and I think that it propagates the idea of stress being attached to college applications, which I am obviously already afflicted by, as you can tell by my hair and glasses, which are just coming off my face now. And I gave up. So Colin, even when I try to talk about Halloween, I still end up talking about college because that's the only thing that anybody around me can talk about. And that's the only thing that I've really been doing. I haven't even done any homework because all I've been doing is thinking about college and the Common App and what I can do to get through this process so I can stop talking like this and freaking out and being concerned about it. Because the fact of the matter is, is that I really am not that worried about getting accepted to any college. My concern is just about getting the applications in early so I can find out sooner rather than later how much scholarship money I might be able to get from these schools because without scholarships, I'm going to be in debt for the rest of my life. And while I recognize that debt is a very common thing in America, it's still not something that I want to dominate my entire existence, especially as a college student. I mean, the idea of student loans hanging over my head for at least the next 20 years is not something that I really want. Colin, I think this kind of anxiety is normal and will pass very soon, at least as soon as the applications are all in, but for now it's still sort of a dead weight on my shoulders. And I do believe that it's all going to work out for the best and I'm going to be okay just like you're okay. I mean, you made it through this process and now you're at Bradley University having a great time, having fun, make, meeting new friends like Gabby, who seems very nice and I'm sure wrote a very good poem that I would love to hear. And maybe you can offer me some advice or words of wisdom about how to get through the anxiety of waiting for the applications process to be over so that I can move faster into the process of being worried about when college decisions will be in and waiting for that and the anxiety attached to all of that. Ah, Carl, it feels like it's never going to end, but I know that it will and I know that it's all going to work out and it's all going to be okay. But for now, I just need to lie down. Colin? I'll see you on Saturday. Thanks for watching. Also, one of the tactics I use to get past my stress is to watch funny videos from the internet. And one of my favorites is to watch old 1950s PSAs and or commentaries about those 1950s PSAs. So I'm going to include some of those here and here and here and here for you guys to watch and enjoy.